Hi guys, welcome to HodgePodge Hobbies. We have a very exciting video, a collaboration with the man himself, Jacob Lucas from Conquest Creations. So I was kindly sent all of these files from Jacob, planning to do a couple videos, this painting guide, and then a battle report and full board build. This fits right in with any orcish style. We're going to use the jailhouse because it is my favorite print of the whole project. But we're just going to spray a white primer over it, try and have a black PLA with a zenithal coverage over top. It's okay if your primer doesn't cover it completely or entirely. So we're using an airbrush because we're working with inks and we want to control the transparency. We're going to first start off with our browns and block out all of the wooden colors. The thing about doing this brown is we want to vary the color depth. So we want some darker places and we want some lighter places. Be careful on the overspray. It's okay if you get brown on other places, but try and be as intentional as possible. And now for any cloth details on these STLs, I'm using a sap green. This is going to be really vibrant off the start, but we're going to mute it down. So don't worry if it's really bright. Now moving on to the main structure, the stone and the brick, we're going to use a purple and we're going to use a blue. And now we're going to again to vary the opacity of these different hues and overlap them intentionally. We're going for a cooler tone, which I think suits Dolgoldur just excellently. Gives it a little bit different of a vibe from a ashy and fiery Mordor. Now the last base colors is just to block out all this iron barring and cross bracing and just a black. This is one of my favorite features of the details within this set, just because it really just goes a long way of showing like the hodgepodge nature of orcs and just ramshackling things together. Now, as we got our base colors all done, we're just going to spread a black wash over this whole thing. I would recommend making your own black wash, especially over this much terrain. It'll save you a ton. It's very easy. It's just like matte medium, inks, and generally a flow improver of some types, whether that's soap. But make your own. You'll need a lot, and it'll go a long way and save you a lot of money. I'm going to again just try and attempt using pigment and powders and so far I've had really mixed results but I really want Dulgoldur to be dusty. dusty. And so I applied quite a bit of a dark grey pigment powder from Vallejo and then apply another wash over top of it. It'll really put another layer of just tying everything all together. So now that we've got our pigment powder, we can go into the final step that really just ties it all together and that's just by dry brushing. I took like a tan dry brush and did the wood with that, whereas over the stone I went with more of a pure gray. Now I was happy with how heavy handed the gray on the stone was, but the wood was a little bit too stark and contrasty. So what I did was I mixed up a 50-50 black and brown wash, and then I just applied that over the wood once again to darken the recesses and cut the highlights just a little bit, but still have them show just in a more diluted sense after the wash. Thank you, Jacob, again for sending me these files. If you guys like these STLs, you can go find the Kickstarter in the link below. I've been so honored and blessed to be part of the YouTube Middle Earth community. If you like these videos, please like, subscribe, and please comment tips. I still have a ton more buildings to get done that'll appear in the full board build, so some of those actually might show up if you get those in. And with that, Chapter 5 and the painting of Dolgoldur comes to a close. I wish you farewell, and I will see you next time.